Welcome back, everybody. Another wonderful day of Fusion 360. Today, we're going to learn about something that I should have been doing since the very beginning, but I did not on purpose. For the most, mostly because I wanted to show you a whole bunch of stuff first and why you should think and really plan out your models. If you're sculpting or making something even in the model environment or even the sheet metal environment, uh, that's basically it, I think then you really should plan something out and don't rely on things like a symmetry tool. So if you're going to use symmetry, it's very, very handy. It's amazing for most things, especially if you do things like, let's say a human, a human, you do a mask or something, or you do something that is equal on both sides. It could be anything at all. I keep thinking of, of masks and helmets because they're usually equal on both sides and you can change later on individual parts. But you should really plan out because most some things are not always to do with symmetry. And you should try to figure out how things move and mold so that you can make them as close as you can just with your own skill level. Being able to do that without the mirror, the mirror or symmetry options is a really good thing to build. That's why I wanted to wait for, till now to do it. Uh, you probably skipped ahead with all these videos and went right to this option because you're trying to figure out how to make mirrors. That's fine. But just remember that you want to keep your skill level to the point where you can anticipate what's going to happen and really visualize as you go along to see how even things are. Use the different angles and change things around. So now my two sides are pretty even. This is not, but they're pretty close. So here we go, symmetry. I'm going to take my object and close it. I don't want that object anymore. I'm gonna make a brand new one. Let's make a sphere. I emphasize the H. Center comes out by default. 200 is just fine for me. Now. My sphere, let's say I was to make a helmet. Let's say I was to make something that's equal on both sides. This side and this side are the same. This side and this side are the same. I would click symmetry and I would just select two sides, this and this, green line appears, or this and this, green line appears. If I do this, symmetry goes there. So make sure you already anticipate where the two sides are this and this symmetry there. Now here is where the fun begins and you can basically just go like this. You see how it's equal on both sides? Now one thought is that if you don't want to use symmetry, and I, I honestly don't know why you wouldn't for this kind of case, but you could technically just delete this entire side. I gotta get rid of symmetry but you delete all the panels on one side and then just mirror the other one over. That's another option uh, that happens a lot in the model environment where you mirror things. But here in the sculpting environment, you can use symmetry for a lot of fun, a lot of fun things. So if I take this and make a bit of a forehead, let's say that's weird ears. Take this out. Take my chin out. Now have some kind of odd face if I added some extra lines here. Watch this. So the symmetry lines here, and I wanted to add a line here. If I add it here, it will add one on the other side. If I add a line here, it will add one on the other side. Exactly the same spot. Symmetry works for every single tool, every single one in the modify just to really be clear. So just use symmetry, have fun with it. It's a great thing to have, but just try to keep your visuals intact, your visual skills moving around, right? Holding shift in the middle of the mouse button, drags the camera around. Work on your visual skills. It's really handy even without symmetry because if you can get them both looking very similar, then you are pretty good at 
modifying and molding and editing the form. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.